So let's consider the following. Let's say we're given a scale and it's balanced. So how can we figure out what X is? In fact, let's change this around a little. No, no, we'll do it this way. We'll keep it this way. How do we figure out what X is? Well, this is the thing we can do. We can remove two pounds here and X will be by itself. But if we do that, we have to remove two pounds on the other side. Because again, it has to stay balanced. And if we do that, and the riddle we want to answer is how much does X weigh? Well, now X is by itself, and there's three pounds on the other side. And since this was balanced and we removed two pounds from both sides, it will stay balanced. So what weight balances X? It's three. So how do we do this in terms of equations? Well, what we have is the following. This is the symbol that says we're balanced. We have two plus three pounds over here and X plus two pounds over here. And so what we'll do is we'll subtract from the plus two. And this is where the opposite operators come in. A plus and a minus cancel out. So what I'll do, I'll go to the next step here. Subtract two. And that canceled. But what I did the one side, I have to do to the other. Remove two pounds from the other side. And that leaves X is three. And so that's how we can solve these equations. Uh, another way we could have done this, we could have written this as X plus two equals five. We could have added the two plus three. And just the same, we'll remove two pounds. And the opposite of adding is subtracting. So that goes away, leaving X. But what we did to one side, we've got to do to the other. So five subtract two, that's three. And we get X equals three. And that's it. So we'll do some more examples with this, with starting out with the subtraction, with the multiplication and division. Any questions, let me know.